Hello and welcome to today's video tutorial on the Cabinet Vision Report Center. For this video I will be demonstrating using Cabinet Vision Ultimate version 11. The Report Center is a useful tool for displaying a snapshot of specific data relating to your projects. You can access the Report section of Cabinet Vision by selecting the Reports tab at the top of the screen and then selecting the Report Center. Depending on your level of cabinet vision, you will see different information displayed as well as have different functionality from within inside the report centre. For customers with Essential and Standard, there are 13 different system reports to select from. For customers with Advanced, there is unlimited access to all system reports, with a combined total of 7 reports able to be active across all report groups. For customers with Ultimate, there is also unlimited access to all system reports, with no limit placed on the number of reports that can be active within any report group. For advanced and ultimate customers, you will also have the print reports in group and set up reports button visible on your screen. All levels of the report center are displayed in a similar layout with some additional buttons and sections added in both advanced and ultimate cabinet vision levels. The main areas of the Report Centre are the Ribbon Bar, used for general navigation of the Report Centre, the Side Bar, used for the Report Selection, and the Preview Window. This will display the selected report and the information that has been populated. The Ribbon Bar is used for general navigation of the Report Centre. The zoom features allow the user to zoom into or away from the centre of the report. The page option will return the report to a full page view displayed in the preview window. The page width button will stretch the report to the width of the preview window allowing for greater detail to be shown. The navigation section is used to move between pages on a multi-page report. The filter button allows the report to be filtered on the information supplied within the report. In this example, we can see that the assembly sheet report is being used and is displaying the separated information relating to each individual cabinet in the project. With the use of the filter function, you are able to refine the report to a single cabinet or multiple cabinets as required. If you have used the filter function to refine a report and wish to return it to a full report, you simply select all within the filter and your report will return to normal. The export report button allows the user to export the report in a different format to that displayed on the screen. There are several different formats that Cabinet Vision will export. Some of the more common ones are Adobe PDF format, Microsoft Word format and Microsoft Excel format. The sidebar area is used to select the specific report group you wish to see or the individual report that you wish to view in the preview window. The report group is a list of reports available in that group. You move between report groups by using the drop down list. Print Reports in Group is used to print all available reports in the report group, allowing the user to gather all relevant information relating to the project, cabinet or materials, depending on what reports are active in that group. You can also print off individual reports from a selected report group by selecting your required report and using the Print button at the top of the screen. Setup Reports is used to create and delete report groups as well as activate and deactivate system and custom reports from within each report group. This area is also where you can create new reports, modify existing custom reports or copy and modify Cabinet Vision system reports. This functionality is only available with advanced and ultimate levels of Cabinet Vision. The Setup Reports section is laid out in the same way as the main reports menu, with a ribbon bar at the top, a sidebar to the left and a preview window in the middle. For Cabinet Vision Advanced and Ultimate levels, the process for creating your own report group is easy. Simply select the Add button in the sidebar 
and enter your new report group name in the pop-up window. It is worth noting that the report groups are displayed alphabetically. By using the asterisk symbol, you can ensure that your custom report group is always displayed first at the top of the drop-down list. Once you have created your custom reports group, the way to add reports to your new group is simple. Firstly, select the report you wish to use and then click on the tick box next to your report group. If you are unsure of the content that will be displayed in your selected report, you can swap between the setup and the view modes by using the report mode option from within the ribbon bar. This will give you a preview of the report as it would be shown from the main report centers page. Once your newly created report group is set up and all required reports have been activated against it, you can use the return button to return to the main report centers page. This concludes today's video on the basics of the report center. If you would like further information relating to the report center, please feel free to use the help file located at the top of the screen. Or, alternatively, you can contact us for further training and information.